Hey guys, today we'll be making a miniature fox. Hope you'll enjoy. I first made the eyes. This video is not going to include a complete tutorial on the eyes just because I used the same technique as in my eyeball cane tutorial, but I just want to show you how they were built with the different layers. You then want to make a sketch in the size you want the fox. If you're working in 1 to 12 scale like me, you want the shoulder height of the fox to be 33mm or less. You also want to make an armature, and this was made the same way as in my corpse bright tutorial. Cover the head of the armature with tinfoil and clay and start sculpting the head. If you haven't seen any of my animal tutorials before, I do recommend checking out my Saint Bernard tutorial as that one has a lot of the basic information. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I don't take requests for which animal tutorials to post just because they take a while to make compared to miniature food or other projects and especially now that I'm making the character dolls, I just like having a category that I can decide what to make for myself. Because the fur on a fox isn't as short as, let's say, an English bulldog, you don't have to worry too much about adding a lot of details to the sculpture itself, just because it'll be covered up by the fur anyway. So for something like this, it's more important to focus on getting the proportions right and the basic shapes. After adding the ears, I added liquid clay to the back to strengthen it and pre-baked the head. After pre-baking that, I started adding clay to the upper body and front legs, then pre-baked again and added more clay to the chest, paws and neck. After pre-baking that, I decided to cut off the rest of the armature. You can keep it if you want, but because it's going to be a seated fox, it's a lot easier to add the hind legs if you don't have the wire in the way. You can also bend back one of the legs to form the tail, but as you'll see in the video, I decided to just add a separate piece of wire instead.
then bake the entire piece. After baking, I added some details with white acrylic paint. This is just the base for where I want to add the completely white fur. And for the fur, I'm using white and orange merino fibers. You can do with just the white, and you'll see why later. And then I also use dark brown merino and white angora fibers, all of which are cruelty free. Now begin gluing on the fur. The glue I'm using is Aileen's Tacky Glue, and again, if you haven't seen my other animal tutorials, please check out my Saint Bernard tutorial because I'll be going through this step in more detail. Once the glue is dry, you can trim the fur and continue. I'm using the merino fibers on most of the body and then I'm using the angora fibers on the belly, neck and snout area. And for the legs and snout, I did cut the fibers into flocking powder. Once you're done, they're going to look quite funky and not at all like foxes, but you just want to take some soft pastel and start shading. Now you can use any brand of pastel that you have, but I do recommend getting some nice quality ones, just because the ones made for artists are meant to last and won't fade over time. I did apply most of the pastel with a dry brush, but I also applied some of it with a wet brush to get a different effect. And for the details around the eyes, mouth, nose and tip of the ears, I did use black acrylic paint.
sprayed with a fixative and you're done.